Hold it right there. Nobody's allowed into Paradise Falls except on slaver business. And I get to decide what qualifies as slaver business. You? I don't think so. You're not really... Let's just say that you wouldn't fit in up there. So why don't you just turn around and head back the way you came? There's two kinds of people who get into Paradise Falls. Slaves and slavers. So, unless you're looking to become a slave, piss off. We might be able to work something out, but it won't be cheap. If I vouch for you and you go mess up our groove, it's my ass on the line. I think 500 caps should cover it. What do you say? Thank you. Pleasure doing business with you. Enjoy your visit to Paradise Falls. Friendly warning. Don't act like a jackass. You won't get a second chance. We must walk softer. Oh God, mister. You gotta help us. You gotta get us out of here. The fuck you looking at, huh? He did it. Dumb shit should have known the collar would blow. Now somebody's gotta clean up this mess. I'm busy, so piss off. You got business here, you talk to Eulogy. You don't exactly look like you belong here. You need guns? I got guns. You need armor? Got that too. So long as you got the caps for them. Well, the guys usually bring in what they grab on missions. I mean, you always got to kill a few people when you're gathering meat. You know, they've got some guards. The dad thinks he's a hero and pulls a gun, whatever. So they bring that crap in here and trade it. But mostly, the only stuff I get is from these guys. And they keep the good stuff for themselves. Yeah, pretty much. Greedy assholes. I don't know how I'm supposed to pull down a living over here when they don't trade fair. I'd have to have some decent supplies to trade for them. If I have more things that these douchebags want, they'll bring me better stuff to trade. But you know, I'm a one-man operation here. Not like I get out a lot. Pretty much, my business is at the mercy of assholes. Fucking free market, man. Yeah, I know. I could really get this little shithole going if I had some better stuff. First things first, bring me some Chinese assault rifles. People always need them for parts. Twenty should get me going. 
I'll trade them off and I should be able to improve my stock pretty fast. All right, 20 Chinese assault rifles and we're in business. Just bring any you find back to me. Any piece of shit will do. I'm just going to be breaking them apart and trading the parts. You know where to find me. No problem, man. Take a look at this stuff. It all works, mostly. Hey, man, come back anytime. Why, look what we have here. Some fresh meat, right out of the wastes. You just want to go ahead and jump in the pen with the others? Or should I beat you senseless and drag you there myself? I ain't mean, not by a long shot. You want to see mean? You should have met my daddy. That son of a bitch had cut your legs off just to laugh at you trying to crawl away. I saw him do it once, too. Just kept laughing at this poor bastard. After an hour or so, Daddy got bored and crushed his skull with a rock. Come to think of it, that was pretty funny. Y'all come back real soon. Jotun. No, it is not nice. What do you want? I keep my father safe. It is. A big job. Go then. You hurt? You're a mess. I hope you brought a lot of money with you. That's good to hear, since I want to take your caps. Bye. Hello, I am Ymir. Does it matter? It only matters where I am, and that is here. I have my boy, my friends, plenty of caps, and strong drink. Why would the past matter when now is so good? He put water in my vodka to make more caps from me, make the drink weak, try to charge me more. Maybe the next bartender, he won't be so stupid, huh? <laughs> Bye. You don't exactly look like you belong here. There are times that I... The primal part of me... I kill you. Me don't away. think I won't throw your ass in the pens with the rest you of the You don't meat. exactly look like you belong here. Sorry, bro. Got nothing to say to you. Hey, Forty. Back off before I put a bullet in you. I'm busy, so piss off. You got business here, you talk to you, G. out of here. I'm Sammy. I'm from Little Lamplight. Me and Squirrel and Penny. We aren't supposed to be here. We gotta get back home. You gotta help us get out of here. Can't you just shoot them all? No? Y you sure? 
Well, okay. I guess maybe we could try Squirrel's plan. He says it'll work, but I don't know. It means using computers and stuff. Hang on, let me get him, and he can tell you the plan. I don't understand some of it anyway. Hey, that's the Mungo. Go talk to him. You're the Mungo that's helping us, huh? Sammy says you want to know the plan. Well, listen up, Mungo, because it's a good one. I'm super smart. Okay, cool. You'll like it, really. It's going to work. I know it. We're stuck behind the fence here. But even if we get past the fence and the Mungos with guns, we still can't leave. They got these collars on us, right? Make us blow up if we try and get out. No way to get the collars off, so we gotta stop them from blowing up. So I found this old terminal in the building here. Dusty, but it turns on with a little fixing. Like I said, I'm super smart. I know they use a terminal to turn the collars on and off. So if you can link the terminals, I can turn the collars off and they won't even know. Then we just gotta open the fence, sneak past the mungos with guns, and get the hell out of here. Sounds good, right? You in? I told you, it's in the boss guy's room. You gotta sneak in there or something. That's up to you to figure out, mungo. You're really dumb, aren't you? I just told you this is the plan. I don't got another way to do this. Oh, come on. Aren't you Mungo's good for anything? I'm a kid. I can do it. Why can't you? Listen, if you can't make that work, there might be one other way to do it. Even for a stupid Mungo like you. There's a junction box along the wall in the eating area. Switch a few cables there and we're good. So there you go. Either you better be pretty good at fixing stuff, or you better learn how to use a terminal real fast. Gee, thanks. Don't work too hard, okay? Hey, man. Breadbox. You get such a funny name. Where did I get my name? Why do you care about that, Bronson? I don't know, I'm just, you know, Breadbox. It's a weird name is all. There's gotta be a good story. Well, you know how they like to get I'm busy, so piss off. You got business here, you talk to Unity. Keep walking. DNR, three dog. All you need to know. I pay you to sleep on the job. Look around here. Tell me what you see. What are you talking about, man? There's nothing wrong out here. Everything looks just good to me. Have you suddenly gone blind, Forty? Do I need to replace my blind second in command? Look around. You see what I'm talking about now. Okay, yeah. I see what you mean. I'll get on it right away, you will do. That's more like it. Show some initiative, damn it. Or I sell you off and give one of those fools in the cage your job. Mr. Eulogy don't like me talking to the Johnnies without his permission. You must be our prospective customer. I do hope Paradise Falls can accommodate your needs. We make no judgments, no assumptions. We understand that it's a harsh world out there, and you do what you must to make it. Now, was there something specific you were interested in? Well then, you and I are a perfect fit. You want to buy slaves, and I want to sell them. There are some prime specimens out there. Have you had a chance to look them over? A very good eye, my friend. Those little ones are good as a long-term investment. They have their other uses as well, I'm sure. They are most definitely up for sale. They're all in excellent physical condition, if that's what you're wondering. A bit stubborn, perhaps, but that behavior can be altered over time. What did you want to know? Names? I think Forty has a few nicknames for them, but none of them are very polite. Does it really matter? They're here now, and they're available for purchase. Okay, then. Let's talk business. 
For starters, I'm thinking 500 caps each for the little ones. Sammy and Penny, I think their names are. Now the other one, Squirrel, that's a talented kid. 500 would be a crime. I'm thinking... A thousand caps for him. Bringing us to a total of 2,000 caps. I suppose I can accept that. It's a deal. The kids are yours. I'll have them delivered to the front gate for you. If I may, you might want to keep a close eye on them. They can be willful at times. Good luck. Hey, Clover. Take it up. You. Keep walking. I guess we can go home now. Let's go. Nice going, Mungo. Let's go before they change their minds. Well, I guess this is one way to do it. We could have escaped, you know. If you say so. Well, I guess that's it. Thanks for getting us out of there, Mungo. We're coming back home now. You ever come out that way, you stop and say hi. I'll tell Mayor not to shoot you, okay? Not busy, Mr. Yule. Why are you bothering me, Clover? Hmm? What do you want? I wanted to talk to you about... Miss Crimson. Careful! Clover, stay nearby. Does not cause a scene. Yes, Daddy? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. What do you need? Damn right you're sorry. When I say something, you better listen. Hell, you should know what I want before I even open my mouth. Please forgive me, Daddy. I, it won't happen again. Just tell me what you need. Anything. I'll do anything. I'm headed over to the block to see listen, nothing going on here. Let's go. We have to talk. I know, but you said that we... So you like what you see? Come, you need to use. I Mr. Eulogy don't, don't like me talking it. to the Johnnies you without his quiet, permission. Or you will regret it. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Take it up with Eulogy. Mr. Eulogy don't like me talking to the Johnnies without his permission. Aw, aren't you cute? Take it up with Eulogy. Miss. Oh, come on, cut it out. Now you're talking. Are you crazy? I really appreciate you doing this for me. I'm feeling better already. Glad to hear it. Freedom! Look, nothing personal, but if you need something, talk to the clown in the hat. Eulogy handles the business. I hear what you're saying. What? Me? Why? What are you thinking? No kidding, huh? I hope you know what you're doing. Well, you kept your promise. I really didn't think you would. Thank you. Seriously. Fine. Opening fire. 
I mean, come on. There's so... This place is terrible, please. You've got to help us. Freedom! So much more to... Later. What? Uh-huh? Me? You're talking to me? Yes? What do you need? What? You have to speak up. Oh, him? No, I have no idea where he is. Ain't got no use for one. Lost most of my hair a long time ago, you see? Later. What is it? Can't you see that I'm watching the guards? I'm watching the patrols. What do you think I'm looking at? They switch it up a little bit every day, but just a little. There has to be some sort of pattern to it. It's just a matter of watching and waiting. Now's our chance. Let's go! Hey, hey, you want to hear a song? See a dance? Just give me some booze. I'll make it happen. Ain't had enough to drink. Can't go nowheres. Now that, that sounds like a plan. I'm a run for it! Care to talk? Well, here's something I don't see every day. A new face and little lamplight. A bit big for one of our kids, but you seem all right. What's your story down here? That was you? Well, my most sincere thanks, then. You brought my sister Penny back to me, and I couldn't ask more than that. I'm Joseph, and if there's ever anything I can do for you, just name it. As the oldest kid in town, I spent most of my time teaching, but I do what I can to keep the kids clean and fresh-faced. Say, if you're ever looking for a haircut, I'd be glad to offer my services. You only have to ask. Well, back at the start, all the children had were the notes from the grown-ups that hadn't left yet, and a few books on caves from the store. But after finding the vault, a few scavengers brought back holotapes for basic schooling, reading, basic math, encyclopedias, that sort of thing. We don't get many books anymore from the scav team, but I make sure to keep my own notes on the computer for whoever takes over after I leave. Mostly, whatever they want to learn. We don't have strict classes or anything down here, but it does mean they're interested in what I'm teaching. But everyone learns the basics of fighting and shooting and survival. We've all got obvious reasons to be interested in that. We entered all of the books and holotapes into the computer, but frankly, there are a lot of important subjects the Volt's material didn't cover. I could wish for more, but we're probably still the best school in the Wasteland. Maybe the only school in the Wasteland, really. Glad I could help. I hold open classes every morning for anyone who's got an interest in learning about a subject. Obviously, voluntary attendance is usually low. I wouldn't normally let someone like you sit in, but since you saved Penny's life, it's the least I can offer. Would you like to hear our history? It's something of a favorite. Okay, sit back, and I'll retell the history of our fine town to the entire class. Pardon me. Thanks again for saving me. You're the best. Well, you and my brother are tired for the best, at least. But that's still really good. It's not a nickname. My name's Penelope. They're just lazy and don't like saying the whole thing is all. All right, bye. Something troubling you, my... 
Long ago, children and grown-ups tried to live in peace. They protected us when we were young, and we helped them when they grew old. And the world was good, but it can never last. Three classes of us were on a field trip to the Lamplight Caverns when they destroyed the world, and some of them were trapped here with us. Some of the adults left for help. They never came back to us. Some of the adults were too clumsy for the caverns. They became bones in the rocks. Some of the adults stayed with us. They did terrible things. But we learned how to help ourselves, how to survive in the caves, and how to kill the monsters. And then there were no adults left. Now we're safe to play and enjoy the caverns, away from the world the Mungos destroyed. And there's only one rule we have to follow. We have to leave before we become grown-ups. That way, we don't risk destroying our world like they did. It means we leave our friends behind, but we can meet again in the outside, and it means our homes and friends stay safe in Little Lamplight. This is how Little Lamplight has survived since the war, and how we will survive until the world is rebuilt. Watch it! What? Hey, it's always how nicer are... to be in here I'm than out there. Uh-oh. Now what? I learned how to tie my shoes, and how to put out a fire, and how to put bullets into a gun. Once my hands get big enough to hold one, Joseph says he's going to teach me how to shoot for real. <laughs> Learning is fun. Bye-bye, Vault Dweller. I understand. I've heard of you. Come back anytime you like to sit in. Wow. Am I glad to be back? If it weren't for you, I think we'd have died back there. So, thanks for the help. If anyone asks me, you're an official kid. I like to think it's because of my inquisitive and charming nature, as well as my natural climbing ability. But Knock Knock says it's because I'm totally nuts. Guess which one's probably right. I'll try. Pardon me. Thanks for getting us back here. We would have got out before long, but you did really help. So, uh, thanks. So, a long time ago, Princess convinced everyone that she should be mayor. The first thing she did as mayor was try to insist the title be changed to Princess. It was five minutes before McCready punched her in the nose and got picked as the new mayor. It was awesome! Yeah, McCready said we needed someone to watch out for us, not to lord over us. Then he popped her one. She hasn't even tried since then. That's why he stays mayor, too. I hope I can be that cool someday. No way. I think she's got a crush on him. She's all weird for him. Thanks. Maybe you can take her down a peg, huh? So, a long time ago, if it No, because Princess always bosses me around, and there's never nothing to gun. She's always making fun of me just because she's angry all the time about her nickname and not being in charge and stuff. Okay. Well, look who's here. Well, look who's here. What's up, Mungo? Why? Because I'm Princess of Little Lamplight? Shut up! 
As soon as they figure out who told you, someone's getting pounded into the ground. That was a long time ago anyway. This bunch of idiots don't deserve me leading them. They wouldn't know a real boss if one shot them in the ass. Thank <laughs> you.